Hello world, welcome back to Razor RC. It's a new day, a new year, and even a new decade here now in 2020. And one of the most popular questions I get on my channel is what RC car should I buy? And so a lot of people ask me that and it's kind of a hard question to answer because it kind of depends on what you're looking for. Just like, you know, buying a real car uh, depends, you know, if you want to buy a minivan, a sports car, a pickup truck, it's really hard to say the top 10 best RC cars to buy. So what I thought I would do is actually go through 10 of the major categories of RC cars, talk about which RC car I think is the best one to buy in that category. And then that way you can kind of make the best selection of the right RC car to fit your needs. So I'm gonna go through 10 different RC cars and tell you which one I personally think is the best. I've owned most of these and driven most of these. Um, so I feel like I have a pretty good understanding of uh, kind of the best value, best performance, um, best support, etc. in each category. And I uh, hope you enjoy this video. So first off, we're going to talk about the best entry level RC car. And so my choice is actually the ECX Amp MT. I actually put out a video about a year ago uh, talking about the best RC car under $100 and this was my winner. Now this actually generally sells for $140, although you can find cheaper ones on eBay, etc. Uh, but I think it's kind of the best overall vehicle. You know, I've tried the Arma, I've tried the Red Cat, etc. And for $140, you know, this really can't be beat. It's a true hobby grade RC car. So if you're looking to get started in the industry, in the sort of hobby and trying to figure out what to actually buy. I think this is a really, really good choice. Now it's sold by ECX, comes in a few different versions, the monster truck, the desert buggy, the stadium truck, etc. cetera. Uh, this is the monster truck, obviously. And the thing I really like about this is that it's a nice classic uh, RC car design, rear motor, um, you can fit a 2S LiPo, uh, you can make modifications, get different tires, different wheels, change out the servo, ESC, electronics, etc. So just a really nice hobby grade RC car overall. ESX is also owned by Horizon Hobby, which is one of the major uh, uh, distributors and uh, uh, groups in the RC industry, so you can get really good support. So overall, just a really nice vehicle. You can upgrade it, change out the steering rack like I did, upgrade the transmission to metal gears. If you want to run brushless, that's no problem. So overall, just an excellent choice in my opinion. $140 is a really good value as well, and so my pick in the entry level category is the ECX Amp MT. So next up is the best lightweight monster truck. So if you've been following my channel at all, uh, you'll realize I do a car truck of the year at the end of every year. My favorite uh, vehicle actually of 2018 was the Arma Granite 4x4 3S BLX. Uh, just an awesome monster truck, uh, really good value, very durable, sells for $299 and it's even on sale sometimes from Horizon Hobby. So just excellent value. It's very fast, goes about 50 miles per hour easy to get parts, just a really nice design, easy to work on, uh, just excellent overall. And so, um, you know, I've driven on a lot of different uh, surfaces, the track, uh, the um, BMX park, uh, even a skate park. So uh, just a very versatile, fun little truck, arguably one of the most durable and fun RC cars of all time. So the Armored Granite 4x4 3SBLX is my choice in the lightweight monster truck category. Two-wheel drive race buggies are a really popular uh, segment of the hobby. Certainly, uh, it's the most popular form of racing in the United States. One ten scale two-wheel drive buggy is also used in the world championship, national championships, etc. I actually put out a video about the best uh, two-wheel drive buggy. I did a head-to-head -head comparison between the 22 5.0 SR and the Team Associate B6.1D. And my choice in that head-to-head -head comparison actually is the TLR uh, 22.5.0. .0. Now the latest one is the 22.50 DC Elite. I think that's the one to get nowadays. $369 comes with tons of aluminum parts, including aluminum rear hubs, aluminum uh, actual uh, servo mounts, uh, carbon shock towers, the three millimeter Gen 3 shock. So just awesome value overall, super high performing. I personally have the SR version, which is their spec racer version intended for uh, 17.5 racing. Um, but just my opinion, the best 
uh, two-wheel drive buggy on the market today. The B6.1D obviously is very good and even more popular, but I found the 22.5 actually to be a little bit quicker. Uh, just a really nice kit overall, better shocks. Uh, it even has that funky little battery strap uh, tie-down system. So my pick in the two-wheel drive race buggy category is the TLR 22 5.0 DC Elite. That's the one to get, folks. Short course trucks are kind of a funny category because uh, short course trucks are popular for bashing, but then they're also used for racing. My pick actually in the short course truck category is something that you can use for either one. It's the Techno SCT 410.3. The latest four-wheel drive short course truck from Techno. I think it was their very first uh, full-on kit, actually, and sort of spawned uh, the whole range of Techno vehicles before Techno kind of just made aftermarket parts for different vehicles like the Slash. But the SCT 410.03, uh, excellent vehicle, uh, not particularly expensive. You can get it for about $370 here in the United States. Uh, extremely durable, arguably the most durable short course truck on the market. Uh, certainly in racing, there's really only this or the low C10 SCTE as legitimate contenders. In my opinion, the Techno with the full metric system, uh, very good part support, uh, especially here in California extreme durability, just high performing overall, and really, in my opinion, the best uh, short course truck. Moving on to crawlers. So crawlers are uh, a fast growing segment of the hobby. Scale crawlers in particular are getting really, really popular. A lot of good options out there. The Axial SCX-10 II, um, even Team Associate has their new Enduro. Axial's got the Capra as well. So a lot of different colors out there with the Red Cat Gen 8. I've tried most of those and uh, they're all really good vehicles. I think they all kind of, kind of have their pros and cons. But my pick in the scale crawler category is kind of the tried and true Traxxas TRX4. The thing I really about, like about this truck is it's not just super capable. It's got the portal axles, kind of the C rails. Uh, a lot of different options with the uh, two-speed transmission, lockable front and rear discs, um, you can get LED lights, waterproof box, um, and the really nice thing about the TRX4 is it comes in a lot of different variations. Uh, you get full race, or not race replicas, but full replica versions like the Mercedes. Uh, they come with a lot of different sort of high-end and low-end versions. So you can get this like the chassis kit. You can build it yourself. You get one with the lockable disc and the two-speed transmission, or you can get the Sport, which is kind of a lower and uh, cheaper one for $300 RTR. A lot of different options with brass weights, uh, overdrive. So really nice, very versatile vehicle. You can get six by six, you can get tracked vehicles, all kinds of different things, you can build them. So um, in my opinion, probably the most flexible platform out there. Just a lot of different options. You can build it however you want. Uh, with a lot of different capabilities, different bodies of course, adjustable wheelbase, aluminum shocks. So just a really nice kit overall. And surprisingly for Trax is actually not particularly expensive, you know, starting at about under $300 and going up to, you know, the five, $600 range, uh, a wide range of different types to suit your budget and uh, fairly budget friendly overall. So my pick in the skill crawler category is the Traxxas TRX4. Okay, moving on to kind of a new category, the speed car. Um, Arma, I feel like has kind of pushed the envelope in this category coming out the arma limitless and infraction those were released uh, in 2019 just kind of full-on hardcore serious speed vehicles can hit triple digit speeds miles per hour etc um, nice thing is the infraction is kind of built as a ready to run version and the limitless is kind of a more like a kit version you can install your own electronics motor batteries etc so a lot of different uh, options there if you want to break some speed records out there so uh, really in my opinion the only good choice in this category and there's stuff from tracks is like the x01 um, some people take an arma uh, typhon or creighton or something like that and build a speed vehicle out there but uh, the arma Infraction and Limitless are really kind of the best choices in my opinion. If you want to go super, super fast, you want to build an RC car that is insanely uh, crazy powered, uh, in my opinion, I think you should go with the Arma uh, Infraction or in probably the Limitless if you want to really uh, break some records. So excellent, excellent choice in this category and my pick for best speed car. 
Four-wheel drive buggies, my particularly favorite class of RC cars. I love four-wheel drive buggies. They're just super fast, super fun, extremely capable, jump really well. So on the track, nothing really beats a four-wheel drive buggy. And uh, one of my most popular videos is actually a shootout of all the different uh, US brand uh, four-wheel drive buggies out there, the TLR, the Techno, and this, the Team Associated B74. So this got released in 2019. Uh, it's their latest, greatest, most awesome uh, sort of race performance 10th scale out there. Uh, the B74, I think, addressed a lot of the weaknesses of the B64, some of the durability issues. Uh, just a super capable vehicle overall. Be exciting to see what else comes out in 2020, but as of the start of the year, I think the B74 is the best RC car, best four wheel drive buggy to buy, and my particular favorite and choice in this category. So, Team Associate B74, just a fantastic vehicle, uh, no problem with part support, performance, durability, it's got it all. It's a little bit expensive at over $500, but um, definitely worth the price, and uh, it's also configurable to all types of different surfaces, loose traction, carpet, astroturf, indoor clay, you name it, this buggy can take it. So my choice, the Team Associate B74. Stadium trucks are kind of dying out in popularity in the RC market. Um, I actually did a comparison of the two top selling stadium trucks here in the United States, the TLR 22T 4.0 and the Team Associated T6.1. Uh, I did a little heads up comparison between those two. I own both of them and I felt like the TLR 22T 4.0 was just a little bit better, a little more speed. The setup was a lot, lot better out of the box. T6.1 is pretty good, but I kind of felt like the development wasn't quite complete on that vehicle. So I, in my opinion, the best stadium truck on the market today is still the TLR 22T 4.0, a little bit older than the Team Associated, but just as capable, if not faster, and uh, just a really good uh, kit overall. So we talked about lightweight monster trucks, and I like the Armored Granite 4x4 3S BLX. And in the heavyweight monster truck category, personally, I think the Arma Creighton 6S is the one to get. The Arma 6S line in general is highly well regarded, uh, very fast, durable, good handling, uh, and not that expensive at a little over $500, about $550. So Arma has a lot of different vehicles in their 6S line, the Typhon, the Centin, uh, the Talion, etc. But arguably the most popular and and best of that series is the Crane 6S line. Crane sort of has a legendary name within Arma. They have a 4S version, which is kind of based off their 2S, 3S line. And then they have a new 8S, uh, all new uh, fifth or sixth scale type uh, vehicle, uh, which is, you know, much bigger, uh, not really faster, but, um, you know, designed for a heavier train. But the 6S is kind of the sweet spot, in my opinion, uh, is what Arma is known for, probably the signature, vehicle in the Arma line. Um, now it's got the aluminum shocks, aluminum chassis, aluminum shock towers, uh, all, all metal drivetrain. Uh, you can put in different size batteries. You can upgrade the motor. It's a really good kit overall. Uh, it's designed for speed. It's designed for bashing. Um, it does have a little bit of weakness in the chassis. You know, people bend that if they're doing crazy 30 foot jumps and stuff, but there are a lot of nice aftermarket upgrades out there from M2C, etc., to uh, solidify that vehicle. So for heavyweight monster truck, I do like the Armored Crane 6S, and I think that's the one to buy. And the last core category is large scale RCs. So we're talking one fifth, one sixth scale. And uh, the big, the three big names are pretty much Losi, Arma, and Traxxas, right? Traxxas has the X-Max, been around for a couple years, 8S capable. Uh, Arma just released the Arma Crane 8S. Again, 8S capable, over 50 miles per hour. Uh, extremely big, extremely fast. Um, and then Losi's got a couple different vehicles. They got the DBXLE 2.0, they got the 5. Um, 
the what is it, the Super Rock Ray. Uh, so a lot of different vehicles from Low C, but in my opinion, the one to get if I were going to buy a fifth or sixth scale large scale vehicle, I would buy the Traxxas X Max. Now it's surprisingly one of the cheaper ones at $900. Been around for a while and some of the other early versions had some issues, you know, 6S was a little bit too slow, some durability issues. They upgraded the ESC because that had some problems. So uh, overall, I think the x max is probably the most durable. I mean, it's got a lot of plastic parts, plastic chassis, it's a little bit raised up, maybe not quite as good handling as the other ones, especially on flatter surfaces. But I don't think you can really beat the x max the low C DBX LEA 2.0s got a little bit of steering geometry issues. The new Armored Crane 8S, people feel like, uh, you know, bends the chassis a little bit, maybe not quite as durable. Certainly X Max is not perfect, but if I were gonna buy a fifth or sixth scale today, I'd still go ahead and buy an X Max. And the great thing with the X Max is it's supported by Traxxas, definitely the easiest to get parts, most widely supported, and uh, you know, definitely the one to get, in my opinion, large scale Traxxas X Max. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you want to see more videos about different vehicles, check out my channel. I got a lot of different things, tuning tips, tech tips, re full reviews, comparisons, radios, all that good stuff. Uh, so hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you uh, watching this video. Uh, look for more videos soon and thanks for watching.